Alright YouTube, I think I know why Valve has been delaying the release of Half-Life 3. It's a theory I've come up with, and it actually does fit with the way the today's technology is actually working. The virtual, uh, the VR headsets, such as the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive are just getting now released. They haven't hit full blown mainstream yet. That's what Valve was waiting on. Whenever the VR headsets become mainstream, that is whenever they will release Half Life 3. Due to the clarity of the headsets, the immersion that you can get from them and the overall control of the headsets you would actually have a much deeper immersion in the game than ever before and the reason I say that it is the VR headsets they were waiting on Half-Life 1 comes out. AGPs come out at about the same time. Coincidence? Half-Life 2 comes out. Much better source code. Bigger source code. SSDs start becoming cheaper. Coincidence? They haven't released Half-Life 3 yet, but they had do there is a new technology coming out. VR. It's already out, but well, when I record this video, anyways. But it's the virtual reality that Valve has been waiting on. I see no other reason why they are still delaying Half Life 3. There's no reason for Valve to delay Half Life 3. I like playing it, I like playing Half Life 3. Well, I like playing the Half-Life series in general. But I actually want Half-Life 3 to be released. Even if they split it up into the three parts like they did Half-Life 2, it would still give the fans the satisfaction of playing the third installment of the series. They left us on a cliffhanger on Half-Life 2 Episode 2. <sighs> Anyways, that was my theory and my rant for this morning. I'm just going to leave it, leave it at that. So, if you liked it, go ahead and chill out on that like button. Let other people know by sharing the video, subscribing if you want to, it'll help build the channel, and as always, stay frosty peeps, see you in the next one.